Let's get it straight, girl. You don't need a nigga for nothing. Looking better every day. You got that binge. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, leave your comments, and also share this video if you would like to share this video. But today's video is going to be another haul. But this time, it is going to be an Ulta haul. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I had this box for a while. I mean like for a while. Um. I don't remember what I ordered. I just wanted to share with you guys what I ordered from Ulta. So, yeah, I love Ulta. I used to work at Ulta, actually. Um, I worked there when I was like, uh, when I got pregnant with my daughter. You guys probably didn't know because I didn't tell you guys, but now I can tell you guys because I don't work there anymore. Um, but I like working at Ulta. It was okay job. Um, the discounts was great. Um, and I mean, if you're a girly girl that loves makeup, psh, Honey, you would never keep keep a paycheck because Ulta gonna take all your money because you get first dibs on everything. You know when the new palettes come in, all that stuff. And as you guys know, when I place orders for myself, I have to have like a spending limit. So it's gonna be a little mini, mini haul because you guys know I only ball out on my daughter. I don't ball out on myself. Um, so... I only got a couple of items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items from Ulta. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys my eight items that I got. First thing that I'm pulling out is some powder. It is the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage 16 Hour Power Power Powder Foundation um, in the color 355. So, it looks like this like that um i absolutely love this foundation i have the foundation in coconut 355 foundation is bomb if you haven't tried it you should try it it's bomb um and every time but every time i used to go in the store i couldn't find my shade of powder so i went on ulta.com and i just ordered it um so yeah and this is a full coverage powder i might do a just powder foundation um makeup for you guys because some some powders are really full coverage you don't need a liquid and a powder i was just so used to using liquid and then setting it with a powder but um i might do that video for you guys let me let me know if you want me to do that video and i definitely will do it for you guys it's the maybelline master prime primer base hydrate and smooth it just looks like this because i've really been looking for some primers um, of course you guys know i use milk of magnesia i love the milk of magnesia but sometimes i apply too much and you can see like my makeup being a little blotchy i don't really like like that i don't really like that so i'm gonna try out the maybelline they have different kinds but i just i got this particular one because it says hydrate and smooth so um i don't think i explained to you guys why i sound like this um as you guys probably know but some of you guys probably don't know if you knew me and my daughter was just really sick we both had sinus and sinus infections so this is why i'm sounding like this because we both have sinus infections she has one and she's on antibiotics i have a sinus infection and yeah i'm on antibiotics so i hope my voice is not irritating to you guys i hope you guys can still understand what i'm saying um because it was worse than this like baby i couldn't say nothing a couple days ago it was crazy but i mean now you can you can understand what i'm saying but it's just a little raspier because i do have a raspy voice anyway so it's a little raspier but i don't know i kind of like it honestly <laughs> but anyway um yeah so th this is the one i decided to get because it says hydrate and smooth so i'll let you guys know how it works it says visibly smooth prime skin with hydration i do have dry skin and it's a lightweight and it does not clog your pores so yeah um it says you can wear this alone which i don't know why anybody would wear a primer alone unless they're gonna put on makeup um, and of course you can wear it under your makeup. So yeah, I hope I like this. If not, I'm gonna try um, the other kinds because they have like maybe like three or four more kinds. So yeah, I just decided to get this one. This is the, I guess I'm saying it right, the Saharian Blush Volume One Palette. 
I have, this is my first time trying this brand. Um, I do plan on ordering some of their eyeshadow palettes. Even though you guys know I don't really like eyeshadow, um, like on my type of eyelids. I mean, I don't, I'll do eyeshadow sometimes, but not really. I don't really have that many eyeshadow tutorials on my channel because I don't really like my eyelids. Like, you really can't tell that I have eyelids when I look up because I have the hooded eyelids. But, yeah. But I, I just want to get some of their, um, their eyeshadow palettes because they're very pigmented. They're so pretty. And you know, guys, know I do makeup on the side sometimes. So, like, I want to, like, have some of those in my kit. So, yeah. Ooh. This is a blush palette. As you guys know, when I first started wearing makeup, blush used to be like my go-to thing. But now I don't really like wearing blush, but I want to start back wearing blush. I just really like to look like nice and even and glowy and stuff like that. Um, not pregnant glowy. Glowy makeup. Because people love to say, oh, you glowing? Are you pregnant? Especially since I had a baby now. Everybody think your ass pregnant. No, I'm not pregnant. I got one child. I was pregnant one time. Uh, yeah. Anyway. This is the blush palette. This is the volume one. And it's just really slick. Excuse my nails. I'm going to get them done. I'm trying to wait closer to Mother's Day. But it's really slick. And it just says the Saharian. I guess I'm saying it right. The Saharian blush volume one. And it has like this pretty like African lady. So beautiful. And then the back is just plain. Um, like uh, this green color. And then it says um, the Saharian blush volume one again. Ooh, y'all, these colors are so pretty. It looks like that's so beautiful. We have Zahara, Zara, I'm sorry, Zara. It's a really pretty color. This looks like a highlight color. Ooh, ooh. So freaking pretty. So pretty. Then right here in the middle at the top, we have Neo. And that's a pretty nice uh like deep uh i can't really explain it but it looks like that to the touch oh these are very pigmented and this is leela um it's not as gold as zara but it's a really pretty gold and it looks like that oh my god and then we have zane which is a really bright pink and it looks like i'm not i'm barely swatching oh my god i'm barely swatching so freaking pretty and I love orange blushes, especially in the summertime. So when I seen that orange, I had to get it, like, seriously. But this is Toby. I'm just rubbing my hands through it. And it looks like that. Oh, my God. These are so pigmented. Like, seriously. And then the last color is Abby. And that's a nice contour color. Not really sure if it's a nice contour color for me, but it can be a nice eyeshadow color. Um, any of these can be used as eyeshadows as well, even though they're blushes. But I'm just going to splash this one right here. Yes. Very pigmented. So, ooh, I am so excited to use this. I done got it dirty. Oh, my God. I done got it dirty. Oh. Look at my hand. Look at my palette. Look. Look. Where is it? Look. Anyway, I'm so excited to use this palette. I'm so excited to order some eyeshadow. Um, I just got stuff everywhere. I'm so excited to order some of their eyeshadow palettes because if their blush palette is pigmented like that, their eyeshadow palette has got to be bomb. The thing I got is the Morphe Full Coverage Foundation, I think. I did my best. Uh, I did my best trying to... Uh, find my shade online. I don't really know if I did a good job or not, but it's a full coverage foundation by Morphe. I've seen plenty of reviews of this on YouTube and I just wanted to try it. Um, it is a full coverage foundation. You guys know I love full coverage foundation because it's like if you're going to wear a foundation, you might as well just do the whole beat. Do the whole beat, girl. Um, it says that it is 24 hour long wear, sweat proof transfer resistant because let me tell you guys what happened tell you guys what happened to me one time it was in the hot summer i was down in my uncle house in the country and i was beat for the guys but i was sweating and all that stuff my cousin that i hadn't seen in a long time you know he'd been in jail you know i just haven't seen him all the time I'm not trying to tell his videos on youtube but i hugged him he had a white shirt i hugged him he hugged me Ooh, because he hadn't seen me in a long time either and that's like my road dog you know what i'm saying it was makeup all 
over his shirt i was so embarrassed like oh my god i'm so sorry like i'm just trying to be this bad bitch down here in this high heat i done messed up your whole shirt i hope you don't go home to your woman she think you've been laid up with somebody tell her you hug your cousin if you gotta call me for me to tell her it was so much makeup on his shirt so when i seen that this foundation was transfer resistant I got to get it and I'm going to I'm going to let you guys know whether it's really transfer resistant because I think a lot of women would love to wear makeup then they can hug really hug that person and they don't have to worry about their makeup getting on their clothes or whatever. So yeah, that was just a little story. I was just like I was so embarrassed. He was coming and I was leaving and it's like he got to come around the family and his shirt got makeup looked like shit all over it. Anyway, um, it's also said that says that it's free of oils, fragrance, and parabens, and it's great for all skin types. So I got the color F4.10, and it looks like it might be the wrong shade. Um, and it's also a matte foundation, but it just looks like this. It's very sleek, very sleek. You get uh, 1.4 um ounces of makeup which is good most of them are like that it doesn't come with a pump or anything but um i'm not gonna open it it's fine i'll just do like a video on it and let you guys know so make sure you subscribe so you can see that video i um, mean it looks like it could be my shade i think i did pretty good it's just that this part looks like it's darker but I think I did pretty good as far as the shade. I'll let you guys know. Like I said, subscribe so we can find out at the same time. Um, but yeah, I love the look. It's nice and sleek. Nice and like, you know, if you travel a lot, it's really um, nice for travel as the well. The next two items that I got is also by Morphe. Morphe. And it's just two of their concealers. I got, um, it looks like that. These are the concealers. I got the color C3.35 and C3.25. And let's just open them up. I'm just going to see what the packaging looks like. Oh, my God. This is, uh, this is C3.35. Y'all see how light that is? That is kind of damn light. I can use it as a highlight. I can use it. I can use it as a highlight. I probably have to mix it with another concealer. But that is C3.35. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to open up C3.25. Okay, this is C3.25. I mean, I, I guess I did order shades to highlight. So I'm just going to put both of them together. They're both, they look like the same color. This one has a little bit more tan to it. That's the C3.25. That one has a little bit more yellow to it. But they just look like this. Can't wait to give these a try. I also got their setting mist. I've heard great things about it. As you guys know, I've always used the MAC one. But the MAC one sometimes will leave like little blotches in your face. And so I... Uh, heard a lot of people said they like this one because it's more of a mist it doesn't really leave like spots in your face so i was like yeah you know let me go ahead and try it because i'm looking for a new setting um spray anyway so yeah i got the morphe setting mist this is the last item that i got from ulta i got the morphe complexion crew this is a five piece brush set um like i needed any brushes um but they were cute and then it comes in this slick little bag that I can use for my makeup. Um, it comes with five brushes. It comes with a round buffer brush. So, back to the video. So, I, it comes with five brushes. It comes with a round buffer brush, angle contour and blush brush, contour brush, Diffuse powder brush, highlighting blending brush, and a large bag. So, this is the bag that they come in. And it just looks like that when you open it. And the brushes are in there. So, love these brushes. I love the way they look. But let me show you guys the brushes that I got. Like I needed any more brushes. So the first brush that I picked up is, okay, well, um, I'm just going to 
they don't have it they just have morphe on it i just like the way they look they're white they are very soft yes and they're very sleek and they says the morphe right there um i'm assuming this is the I don't know what brush this is because they don't really have it on the brushes so let's see if we can kind of figure out what brush this is I'm assuming that this is the this is the contour brush yeah I think this is the contour brush fit perfectly where you want to contour y'all excuse my contour i used something that i wasn't supposed to use excuse that this is the contour brush love it it's real sleek it's very small and gets you right in there where you need to contour this is the next brush right here this is they're basically all the same they don't have a number or anything on it they're all white and sleek it says um morphe i think this one is the angle contour and blush brush and it's small as well and it fits they're really small but you know what i've learned and i've seen a lot of that people use like they use small precise brushes um to get like more of a nice blended application so i'm glad i got these brushes because they're small because sometimes i like to like use big, big brushes because i'm trying to get like hurry up and get done with my makeup so this is the angle brush um this is the angle contour and blush brush so you can use this to contour or you can use this to apply you know your blush to your cheeks and stuff like that so love this brush and i if you guys want me to i can do like um a makeup look using nothing but these brushes let me know in the bottom bar if that's the video you guys would be interested in this one is real small i'm not really sure which one this is i think this is the diffuse powder brush i will have to go on there i'm gonna go i'm gonna have a link to their website that um sh to show you these brushes and maybe we can see what brushes for what but this one's really small but i think this one is the diffuse powder brush this one right here i know which one this one is this is the highlighting blending brush get right there to highlight put your highlight there so you can glow on these bitches yes so yeah i know this is the highlighting brush i've never had a highlighting brush like this before so i'm very excited to use this one and the last brush that i have let me hurry up because my camera's about to die again this is the i think this is the round buffer brush but i would think this is the powder brush oh my god look the hey that brush is super duper soft super duper soft to blend everything together so there's no harsh lines put my brushes back in my bag i love this bag it's nice sleek and black just very nice classy 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 so i hope you guys enjoy everything in this haul let me know what videos you want to see like you want to see um a video with me using nothing but the brushes and also doing a in-depth video on this foundation and concealer let me know what you guys want to see at the bottom bar like comment subscribe like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for the support thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye